Hey everyone, so today we have here all of the colors in all their glory, the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14s. We're gonna be putting them in a couple of cases, namely clear and black cases and such, so you guys can see how the colors are. Also gives you a chance to kind of just see all the colors here laid out on the table to see exactly how they look compared to each other color. And this video is brought to you by Caseify, so thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So let's get into this. Here, of course, we have the iPhone 14s, the blue, midnight, product red, starlight, and purple. Over here, we got the deep purple pro, space black, silver, and the gold ones. Now, I've gotten my chance to kind of look at all the colors and get my final impressions on them, and the color comparisons are coming very soon. But until then, I think I am definitely gonna be keeping the purple. However, I think off the bat originally, I think I should have maybe just gone with the space black. I really do like that. And I did state in a previous video that I got the max. I had to return that, I couldn't do it. So I ended up switching it just for the normal pro again. I just think that's really the perfect size. But let's go ahead and get started here with the pro models. Let's see how all these look in the following cases that we have here. So we have some cool cases to showcase. This batch over here are from the pro models. But let's go ahead and start off with a clear case on all of these colors so that you can see how every color looks there with a clear case. Here you can probably just see them on screen. I'll get some B-roll so that everything's side by side and this video isn't as long or longer than it really needs to be. You can see the way that every color kind of reacts there. Not a clear case, I do think that with some colored accents that's specifically good with the black accents, I think the silver and the gold look great and the deeper purple and the space black don't really look all that great with clear cases. It's not personally something that I would recommend. My favorite look for a clear case is definitely the silver one. I think that's just the way to go, especially with these black accents on the side. The Panda Stormtrooper vibe really, really shines and I'm a huge fan of that. If I had the silver phone, this would be my go-to look. Now the purple with a clear case and with cases in general is gonna dull down a bit. So if you don't like the fact that it's like purple in daylight or whatever, you can make it look almost like a gray phone by just putting the right case on it. So that's something worth noting. And of course the black phone, it's just gonna be smudge central. You're gonna be able to tell all of the smudges on the clear case. Even though the phone looks cool, I would say that for this, a just straight up black case or a matte case would work better. Now, before we move on to the black case and all the other colors, I do want to talk about Case Defy and give you some info on them. And all these cases, of course, are from them. They have a variety of cases. They have this right here is their new impact line, which has this like cool twister design with the EcoShot technology. And this is really cool because it keeps a really some form factor whenever you're using it with devices. And so it's not going to feel like a super bulky case. A good comparison to this is Otterbox and their cases, they have a different line as well. But all of the lines from Casetify are actually thinner, slimmer, and you can get a lot more designs. Now, if you go to casetify.com forward slash stargadgetsyt, you're actually gonna automatically save 15% off your order and you can click the link below also in the description. You don't have to use any promo code or anything at checkout, it automatically applies to your order. This one, for example, is very comparable to Otterbox's commuter cases, but this still manages to be slimmer and less bulky on your phone while also providing a big level of protection whenever you drop your phone. And we will be doing a drop test later on in the video so you can see that. Now all the phone colors that you see right here, of course, with a black case, you're basically hiding the whole back and only showing the accents on the devices. So here with the black one, I think that one looks fantastic. It just looks so sleek with all black, the whole look, the front is also black. Everything just looks so good. But honestly, a black case is gonna work with absolutely any phone, like the purple one looks really good. You just get that slight bit of purple peeking through. And in some lights, you might think it's a slightly bluish phone, you think it's a purple or a gray phone, so it really depends. And it just hides the overall purple look. If that's something you wanna do, then a black case is gonna work really well. And of course, the silver and the gold being those uh, very light colors, they're really gonna pop through. And especially the silver, that panda look again, works really well as well. So I really like that. Now the cool thing about all these case by cases is of course, aside from all the customizations that you can do, is that they're all wireless charging compatible and you can even get them in a MagSafe configuration right here. So aside from protection, you're gonna get all that MagSafe capability with the power banks, wallets. For example, here I have a little tripod that works perfectly fine. And the magnet is plenty strong to hold up any accessories and things that you need to put on there. So that's also great. Now let's go ahead and here try some more fun colors on these devices. Of course, we got the 
purple here with which the purple on purple looks kind of good but i think this one looks best actually on the silver phone it just really pops and is a nice color combo as i mentioned before i'm a big fan of contrast so when things are kind of opposite colors or just one thing pops and the other one pops in a different direction i think that looks best now how about a clear case here with a colorful design this particular one has some flowers on it which i really like specifically with the gold phone i think those beige undertones of the gold match really nicely with the coloring colors that are on this flower you can see that that's very cool these designs are also really good they don't scratch off like at all they're actually printed on there very nicely not like some other cases that just have like some cheap prints on there or like a piece of paper on the back so that's kind of nice now we have this clear and blue case that has this uh kind of like snake like design on the back and what's cool when you print on the MagSafe is that like you can see kind of the MagSafe still through it. That's kind of neat. And here you go. This one kind of looks quite cool on the silver with that white and blue look. Now for the Pro Max, we do only have it in the gold color here, but we have the Impact Ultra K series right here, which is their second most protective one. Their most protective one is the Bounce Line. This is the Ultra Impact. So you can kind of already see the rubber nibs on each corner of the device right there. I actually really like these while testing out because if you game a lot, they give you something to kind of grip onto and hold on the sides, which is actually really, really nice. And of course, if you have a bigger device, you want, might want a little bit more protection just because it's larger, it weighs more. And these corners are gonna bounce off the ground quite a bit more than just the standard impact line. So now let's go ahead and show you one of my favorite cases here, which is actually this one with the duck. And with that, we're gonna actually show you the utility strap that we have here, which I know a lot of people do wear this now, it's kind of trending. So let's see here, we have this strap card that they sent over, so let's test this out. So this strap card just basically goes into any case that you buy. So we just put it in here at the bottom. And there you go. Now we put our device into this. So let's maybe go bottom first, actually, to press that down. Put in our device into the case. And what do you have now, if not a loop here to attach a lanyard to, specifically this utility strap lanyard, which is going to allow you to actually carry your phone if you're hiking or something and just constantly taking pictures and you don't want to keep putting your phone in and out of your pocket or anything like that, you can actually just put it around your neck and just carry it like that and just constantly be taking pictures without having to worry about dropping it at all because if you were to be taking pictures of a waterfall or something, it's just going to fall right back into your neck, which is really good. You can see that there, very sturdy. This is not going to come off at all, which is very nice. Like I'm pulling on this hard. It would never get that much force with you just dropping it, but you can see super sturdy and everything made here out of aluminum, which is really great, really high quality strap. So I really, really like that. Now let's do the iPhone 14 colors. So let's see here. This is actually one of my favorite cases that we got here. I just love this color. It reminds me of early Macs in the 2000s and uh, the same thing with the purple one, but this one, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, especially with the white ring of the MagSafe here, it just looks super cool. My favorite combo is actually here with the white one. It looks so good, look at that. It's just uh, so fun and so playful. This is just one of my favorite combos of cases and colors anywhere here. This case would also look great, of course, with the silver iPhone or even possibly the gold as it would kind of hide the gold and make it look like just basically silver and green. So that's really great. I really, really like this color, this case. One of the odd things here when you look at it from the right side it actually is black here on the left side, but it's clear and that's just the buildup of the light refracting. And so when you turn it, it's clear again. That's really nice. So now let's do, of course, a clear case here on the 14, which clear cases, as I've always said, please just put them on lighter phone devices just because it just looks so much better on lighter phones. The smudges don't show, really shows off the device and it just looks so good, especially when it's like a silver. Of course, this is a starlight right here on my favorite one is the starlight, at least the one I'm holding right here. But you can see all the co other colors there and uh, see how that looks. Black with red, of course, looks great. That blue with black actually looks great as well. I really, really like a clear case with also some black accents on it. I really like that. Now for this purple one, I don't think it's worth seeing on all the colors except for just maybe the starlight, which is the only one I kind of really recommend. Uh, I did put this purple case on all the other unboxings, so you can check that out on each color, but I just think it only really looks good on this one. The one I did want to show you, of course, on all of them is a black case. 
of course, just so you can see how much those accents pop out of the uh, phone color in case you wanna do that instead. So basically be hiding most of the phone except those little accents that you see and peek through from time to time whenever you turn the phone or look at the bottom of the phone, etc. Now we actually do have another little thing here. This isn't something that I personally have ever used but I know that people do use these now and that is a lens protector. So let's see how this actually just kind of looks on the pro models here because this one's for the pro. We just where to put it on right there you can see. I actually don't mind this because it's clear and so it doesn't interfere too much. I'm personally not a fan of just putting anything on there, but I know some people definitely want to protect everything as much as possible. And if you do want to do that, then this of course makes sense. But you can see there, it just kind of um, makes it look like more of a one piece type thing here. But I, I don't really like how that looks on there. You can see that there on the gold one. And that's kind of how a lens protector looks. Last but not least, little shout out to this little dyno case, which is honestly my favorite one. Second favorite, I think is the duck one. I don't know, it's really in between these two. I think these are the most fun cases. I do love how this cuts off and then shows the rest of the phone color. But yeah, you can see the cases there. Now let's go ahead and move on to the drop test. All right, so here for the drop test, you're just going, getting ready for work. You're kind of going down the stairs. You see your dog, he spooks you. <gasps> you drop your phone. Oh my gosh, and it's perfectly fine because of course, I mean, this is kind of a very low level drop, but you get your car keys, you're going outside, and you go to open your car. Oh my gosh, you open your car with the same hand. Oh, you dropped your phone on the cement, and it's perfectly fine. Again, it has a little scratch in the corner, but nothing too bad on the case, and of course, nothing happened to the phone. Lastly, you're enjoying the sun. Oh my gosh, you put too much sunscreen. Boom, the phone slips out of your hand. And again, it is perfectly fine. So this case protects for, you know, very simple everyday to day drops. But if you have more extreme circumstances, Caseify does have a couple of other options with their impact line as well as bounce line for more protection.